Hello friends, hi. This is Saad from SeleniumTapon.com, and in today's video, we are going to learn how to configure Allure Allure report with Selenium Test Engine using Maven project. So we will quickly navigate to Eclipse, and friends, uh, I have created one Maven project here, and in that I have two class files app.java and homepage.java in app.java I have a selenium code and in homepage.java I have a, a code for page object model with page factory so I will just quickly walk you through with this code so main aim of this uh, tutorial video is to show you how to configure uh, alloy reports into your in build framework so that's why i have already written this uh, line of code to quickly sh show you the configuration of allure report without wasting your time and so you can see here uh, i have used test ng annotations like before class and at the red test here so uh, first line I've written like I've set the system properties for Chrome driver and I've instantiated the Chrome driver after that we will navigate to amazon.in homepage and I have maximized the window and in first at the red test I've used test case one function inside that I've created an object of a home page of Amazon and I've created one search function as well sorry friends So after that, we so after that we have used this, and I've created one search function here. So in search function, uh, I have used uh, send keys and send keys enter and click. So I will just quickly walk, walk you through. So I use page object model with page factory and I use uh, ID and partial link text right so I've given the ID of the search box which is present on home page of Amazon and in the search field and then the search text box I am passing this value uh, Lenovo Kate Note mobile phone okay so this parameter is coming to this function here in username one and I'm passing this into the text field using send keys and I'm pressing enter so I'm using uh, send keys for uh, keyboard events friends here okay and uh, one more web element like uh, this is a partial link so this is a link of a mobile phone which we will get into the home page of Amazon which so we will click on that link using our script and okay so let's uh, uh, I will quickly run this uh, uh, framework uh, small code so that you will get to know what we are done with the uh, this so what we are, are trying to do with this line of code Af after that we will generate test engine report and after that I will configure allure report and after that we will <laughs> we will we will uh, uh, see how allo report is getting generated using mm, this uh, this framework okay so uh, let's uh, go and and we will run this our line of code okay so this ng and yes it is getting executed uh, yeah chrome browser has opened uh, it will maximize i hope so yes it has maximized and you look at this field it has entered Linux create node and clicked on the link and yes so friends uh, our script is successfully executed now so what has happened just i will show you uh, we have navigated to amazon dot in home page we have entered Linux k8 node mobile phone into this text field and it has clicked enter like this and after that we have searched for this partial link Lenovo k8 note Vinom black for 
4 GB with new system page. So, uh, so our script has clicked on this page, and uh, with pop up window, we have went to this this window. Okay, so this is a basic short, very very short script has been executed, and we can also see a TestNG report here. So, what we are getting here, all pass look, have a look at it. Test case one, test case two, all test cases are have been executed and they are all are passed in console as well. We can say all run all test cases run is seven, zero fail and escape are zero. Okay. So all test cases are passed. Very happy report, right? Again, let's configure our LA report uh, here. Okay. So what we need to do is we will go and we will search for LA report. will go to this link I will put this link into the description so that you will it will be easy for you I will click here and I will click here on download link you can see here download link yes click click on it click on it after that scroll down and click on source code dot zip file we yeah we, we need this I click on this so it will download here right download has been started I will cancel it because I already have this file on my uh, uh, on my desktop so I will move to it okay so in downloads I already have this earlier file uh, copy pasted it, it to my C drive in setup folder so this file I have here I have also extracted this file so this this is the inside look of this allure.2.7.0 file so what Think we have to do now. Uh, so friends, please now be attention. We are going to do two main setup here for alert report. First thing we have to do, we have to give the path of this bin folder into our environment variable. Okay. So I will copy this path. I will go to my environment variable. Right click properties, advanced system settings, environment variables. Okay. Path. I will click on path we have to give that path here so uh, already given you can see C setup alert report bin so this is the same path which I have copied from my bin folder of alert report here okay so first you have to do this you have to set up variable you have to give path of bin folder of alert report into your environment variable this is first thing you have to do compulsorily don't forget to do it okay after this next step will be to include the alloy report jar files into your maven project so how will we you will do it in your project setup go to pom.xml okay and in that in pom.xml you added various dependencies right like selenium dependencies uh tshng dependencies you can see i've added selenium dependencies tshng and again you have to add alloy report tshng dependencies like this i have added so from where you will add it let go to maven repository uh -huh. yes go to maven repository click on maven repository and search for alloy and tshng enter click so here this link friends alloy tshng adapter yes uh, sorry, sorry, not this. This alloy tshng, this one, like io dot q meta alloy. Click on alloy tshng, right? Remember this symbol, friends. Red, red color. Uh, go to 2.6.0 and copy these dependencies and paste it into your pom dot xml. So I copy paste it here. You can see. So I have only three dependencies currently into my pom.xml which is which is selenium dependency, tshng dependency and allo report dependencies. Okay? So we have already run our uh, this project. We will again run this project to show you how we are getting an uh alloy report okay click on this right click i will run a test ng as a test ng again okay 
so yes amazon website has opened it will enter linux okay not mobile phone so we we'll click on first link and yes we are done we'll go to eclipse and check our reports yes all are run and phase zero phase zero skipped okay so friends uh, let me show you so uh, go to a uh, command line and verify if you have given the path variable path variable path correctly just check that your azure report is configured properly so for that you have to check azure version okay after pressing enter you should get this version if you are getting this 2.7.0 so you have uh, uh, given uh, the path of this bin folder correctly into your into your environment variable okay i'm just again reminding you so yes we are ready to go again we have run this project right so i will just refresh this project one time uh yes refresh so yes you can see earlier result this for this folder has been automatically generated okay so yes so th this files are in dot json format and for that to see this files we have to run one command in command line and the provide the path of this folder into that so we'll just see how to do that click on allo result properties copy this location okay we have copied this location and what what to do next step is to use allo S C R V E. This command, L U S R command. Remember this command, L U S R. Again, space, space, path of your L U S result test folder, which we have did. This folder path. Okay, friends. After that, press click on enter, and just wait for the beautiful report to get generated. Yes, yeah, we have this report. Hello report has been generated successfully you can see we we have uh, seven test cases passed like we have in our test ng right this is seven test cases has passed so let's check again uh, let's check again so category we have categories wise section suit so we have one suit here we are not defining any suit so it's taking by default we have graph we have this graph okay we have how many passed broken passed skipped how many are unknown we have duration graph as well so this has they has taken 7 second to execute and this this case has taken less time okay because we have uh, much more thing to execute in at the rate test one and these are only one line code just i just want to show you Uh, la, la, uh, some a uh, uh, few number of test cases so that's why i just created this dummy test cases all our code is mainly depend on this at the test case one okay with this function this function only three lines th we have executed only three lines of code friends so it's a very short e code okay so uh, yeah coming back to reports we have timeline we have behavior and we have packages so yes friend this is a quick quick view on how you can configure alvar reports into your existing project you can also do this with your cucumber project if you are using bdd framework and i have already show you i shown you means uh, how to configure it in, it into your test and selenium project Uh, and and it became very really very easy if you are using a, a, a maven project because we are just added the test ng jar test ng jar files lem jar files and allo report jar files into our pom project and given and also given the path of our uh, bin folder into our environment variable like this so the, this one so yeah we have done it and i i hope you have liked the video please subscribe to my channel and till then bye bye see you take care we will we'll see we'll meet again in next video